All right, guys, come on in. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jacoby. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a closet clean out. Now, this is the perfect opportunity because everything in my closet and behind me is everything I left, everything that I didn't take to college. So I feel like I should get rid of most of it because I don't wear it. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. First category is dresses. Let's go. I really like this dress. I thrifted it. I really want to say for like five bucks from like Goodwill, I think. It used to fit me a lot better, but I've lost a lot of weight. So I might keep it around. I really like the slit and stuff. It fits really nice. It's comfortable and I really love the pattern. So this dress, honestly, I hate it so much and I don't know why I ever purchased it. It's from Forever 21. The quality's not bad. It's just that I look like a prison guard and or a prisoner, whichever. So it's just, you know, I'm not feeling it anymore. It's not very flattering on me. So it's gonna be donated. See you later, bye. These overalls are super cute. They're actually a dressy like material, but they kind of look awkward on me. Like it makes my crotch look kind of long and I'm not really here for that. So, I mean, it's okay. It's kind of baggy on my chest too, since I'm not very like big up there, you know what I'm saying? So this might have to go. But I really am attached to it because it's so cute. Frick. Okay. And I don't know. Indecision. I don't know. Okay. This dress, I forgot how much I loved it. It's so beautiful. It's like a nice raspberry color. And uh, this dress is so sentimental for me because I wore it to my fraternity. What? To my boyfriend, my current boyfriend fraternity formal three years ago. And it's just sentimental I'm like that's so cute so have to keep it for memory's sake but also it's a really cute dress it's from windsor go check windsor out they're amazing okay this dress has major 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 potato sack vibes but the belt really ties it together it's really cute and it's like a linen and i like to wear this on the beach like when i went to myrtle beach with my now boyfriend boy this was so cute and like i felt so elegant and like i had a yacht so i was like yes it also has pockets so you know, might have to cop it. Also, I got this from Plato's Closet. That's where I get most of my clothes. Okay, so this yellow dress I wore for my senior pictures in high school. Um, It's time for it to go. I look like a banana. It's not flattering. I look like I'm low-key pregnant in this. Like, it could be a maternity dress for me. So, it's not a cute look. I absolutely hate it, and I don't know what possessed me to wear this dress for my pictures. But the yellow, I will say, is stunning on my skin tone. Okay, so this dress I got for $9 at Buffalo Exchange. You know, it's okay. It's not my uh, favorite, but, you know, it's it does the job. I like the square neck. Um, other than that, the polka dots are not really sending me. So, I don't know. I mean, if it's kind of nice, it was cheap. So, it's probably going to go, though. See you later. Okay, friends, now it's time for bottoms. I am not excited about this. <laughs> okay, these pants are amazing. It's actually a corduroy. I don't know if that comes across on camera, but it's like a coral corduroy borderline red high-waisted pants, flare pants, and they are so cute. This is from the brand Show Me Your Mew Mew, and these are usually so expensive, like dumb expensive. But I found these at, once again, Play-Doh's Closet for like 20 bucks, I think or like $25, but these are so cute. I've had them for a while and they fit me so nice. Okay, honestly, those aren't even worth trying on. They're the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life and I'm getting rid of them ASAP. Like, I can't even show y'all what I look like in them because they're ugly. Okay. These jeans are literally the definition of mediocre. They're like low rise on me, which is not very flattering, but I mean, I could kind of pull it off, but you know, ugh. Um, they're too short on my legs. They're a little too tight. Um. I really thought I was doing something with the patchwork, but hey. This skirt, I literally probably got on sale for like $8 on Fashion Nova. It's a pretty cheap material, but I mean, it looks nice in my opinion. And if I had something kind of business casual to do, I would wear this, even though it looks kind of cheap. <laughs> But it's okay, it gets the job done. This mini skirt is from Fabric 21. It's borderline sheer, no cap, honestly. And it's very cheap and flimsy. I don't know why I bought it and I have never worn it. So, actually no, I think I wore it once to a party, lol. But it's definitely going because it's very poor quality. <laughs> All right, finally, we're moving on to tops and outerwear. This shirt is was my mom's and this shirt is bomb. It is so nice quality. It's by the brand Ellen Tracy. She really liked that designer. Um, this shirt is so comfortable. It fits me actually really nicely. I'm definitely gonna keep it around. I really like the colors, the purple, the gold. It's hitting and I love it. Yes. 
This is a Kristaps Porzingis <laughs> Knicks jersey when he was like drafted, I don't know, God knows how long ago. But honestly, I might get rid of it because I don't wear it ever. It's literally just a jersey. And also the Knicks low-key, high-key suck. Hey, Brandon, don't worry about sweetheart. This, that, splash. Yeah, yeah. That's why I think when I wear this jersey. Okay, bye. This coat is so gorgeous. I love the pattern. I love the browns, the muted colors. Also, it has pockets, so I love that for me. Um, also, this is uh, also another hand-me-down from my mom, so obviously she had great style. So, yes, I will definitely be wearing this um, when it's a little colder outside, but thanks, Mom. Love you. This shirt is from Forever 21. I really actually like it because it has like a button detail up the middle and it goes off to one side and not the other. I think that's kind of unique. I also like the stripes, the red and white, but it also kind of gives me Waldo vibes a little bit, but hey, I can rock it though. This shirt I also thrifted from, I think, Salvation Army. Um, the fabric is amazing. This is a really high quality shirt and I also really liked the orange pumpkin color almost. It looks really flattering. Also, I like kind of the three quarter sleeve action. It's very flowy and you get a lot of air and it's not sticking to me. So I'm definitely keeping this around. I love it. Okay, this sweater I absolutely love. I think I bought it, I wanna say junior year of high school and I've had it ever since. It says let them eat cake and it's from the brand Mink Pink and it's a really nice sweater. It's very comfortable and warm. I don't wear it very often, but I could definitely see myself wearing it. Okay, shocker, I have another jersey. This was my first jersey ever. This is a Kevin Garnett jersey when he played for the Celtics, my literally favorite player. Um, go Celtics, even though I honestly have no affiliation to anyone but anyways i really like this jersey it's really cute flowy i actually really like the white stripes it's actually kind of fashionable yes okay um this crop top is so cute it's like a it gives me really like yeezy kim kardashian vibes but it's it was like two bucks from like forever 21 i really like it i don't know why i didn't bring this to college i could definitely party in this but heck yeah i'm keeping it this sweatshirt I've had for years, and I actually do wear it a lot, but it just didn't make the cut to come to college with me. But I got it from Nordstrom Rack, and it just says vitamin C on it. Super lightweight sweatshirt. It's white. I'm surprised I kept it this white, but yeah, it was really cute, and also it was on sale, of course. So, I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this faux fur coat. My mom actually, no, my grandmother gave it to me, and it was my mother's. And I was like, oh my god, this is so chic. Like, if I ever went to New York Fashion Week, which I am manifesting right now, I would definitely wear this. So this is so cute. I don't know, like it's vintage. I don't know who it's by or where it's from, but thanks grandma, I like it. All right guys, that's it for this closet try on, closet clean out, whatever you wanna call it. I really hope y'all like this video. Let me know what else y'all wanna see from me in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment down below. DM me on Instagram, whatever you want, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> hey AD, come on in. <laughs> Hey, Architectural Digest, come on in. I fucked that up. Hey, Vogue, come on in. Okay, I'm actually shook that this even went over my shoulders. Call me.